Jamaica's Kevona Davis is on fire. She scorches the track with a remarkable 10.83 dash over the women's 100 meters in Texas. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, which is at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. After this, we're going to have sports analysis. And then we will feature your comments. So stay to the end. You may hear from yourself. Uno ready? Yep. Good to go. Now, many believe that lightning cannot strike twice. Of course, science has proven that to be absolutely incorrect. And so has Kevona Davis. After laying down a phenomenal new personal record over the women's 100 meters at the Big 12 Outdoor Track and Field Championships being held in La Box, Texas, she in the preliminaries ran a remarkable 10.95. But in the finals, she rose to the occasion and ran a phenomenal win 10.83, with the win being 2.4 meters per second. Clearly, this will not go down as an official time, well, a sanctioned time, but still, people, 10.83 is a remarkable run for a young lady who many of you gave up on and were giving up on recently. Now, in the finals with the wind 2.4, as I stated, the winner was Julian Alfred of Texas, who ran 10.80. We're going to talk about her soon. Kevona Davis, of course, ran 10.83 to take second. Now, in that third position was Rosemary Chokuwama, who ran 10.88. Kennedy, Kennedy Fanel ran 11.06 to take the fourth position. Kiera Pettyway ran 11.06 to take the fifth position with Sydney Washington in sixth, running 11.27. Kennedy Blackmond ran 11.29 to take seventh. And in eighth position, Kia Dunbarry Gay ran, ran 11.40 to take the eighth, eighth position. Now, the start was relatively even, and um, it was obvious almost instantaneously who the top three sprinters would have been but in the end davis came in second behind behind of course julian alfred who took that first position now i should say that this is a high altitude race and some people think that should be factored in but 10.83 is a really good jump from that 10 point uh, nine five which was also exceedingly impressive Here's a quick look at that 10.95 in the preliminary. Now, Kevona Davis did enter the finals with the third fastest time, a time of 10.95. But she's been running really well since she started her outdoor 100 meter season. Here she is running a spiffy 11.15. This, what you just saw, was her running that 11.15 in Baton Rouge at the Texas TFXC. So, people, she's been looking really good since she started her outdoor season over the 100 meters and, I should tell you, also the 200 meters. This is her earlier in the year indoors at the Big 12, but this was indoor track and field event earlier this year over the women's 60-meter dash in Section 1, I believe.
this was actually in heat three of three with her running that 7.32 now there's a tendency for some of us with some of us that we give up on the, on an athlete very very quickly kevin davis was a track star when she was at edwin allen did many remarkable things up until recently had several class one and class two records that were just recently broken a remarkable talent we forget that she was seriously injured leaving high school and i've stated many many times injury is the bane of the athlete because it impacts them not just physiologically but also psychologically uh it takes sometimes years for an athlete to recover from an injury physically recover uh elaine thompson Hera, the great speaks freely about how it took her about five years to heal from that achilles heel and it's still i think tender and when you have a kind of injury what it also does to you as an athlete is you don't want to push and it, therefore it it um it impacts your psychology as an athlete you're not as certain your confidence is not there the way kebona davis is now running is clear that a her injury is pretty much fully healed B, her psychological scarring is being reversed. C, C she's getting her self-confidence back. D, their, their, the work on the, her start was important because that was a weakness she had in the 100 and the 200 meters uh, back in high school. Her start was horrific. Um, and also her technique or the way she's running her running style also seems to be improving because there was a tendency at one point for her to list almost to the left this is an amazing thing people for a young lady high altitude or not wind aided or not 10.83 is a seriously quick time that's the kind of time that you make you make you stand up and say whoa uh the 10.95 was also a stand up and say whoa moment so here's what i'm asking if we're truly fans of the sport i'm not saying to keep supporting someone who all hope is lost but i'm saying don't lose the hope so quickly Kevona Davis is like 20 or 21 years old. She's a very, very young girl. And many of you gave up on her in the past. We, her people, she needs to get our support. And I think this is something we need to do. We need to support these athletes until it is very, very obvious that there's no hope. A 21-year-old, you can't give up on that. That's a very young person who was already a brilliant sprinter. I think with her self-confidence coming back, she'll be laying down some solid times for the rest of the year now i admit 10.83 uh 2.4 wind that's huge that's a lot of wind but it's still a 10.83 and yes it was high altitude so we're looking at somewhere in the 10.9s she's one to watch let's give her some support show some love for her in the comment sections section today's comments come from comes from yesterday's post Javon Salmon wrote, Congratulations to Kevona on breaking the 11 seconds barrier. I wish her continuation in improving her times and that in the near future, she will take her rightful place in flying the flag of Jamaica. In flying the flag of Jamaica, high. In flying the flag of Jamaica, high, as her true potential is mature. Uh, well, I guess he means uh, to mature. All the best, Kevona. Big up, um, Javon. Thank you so very much for that warm endorsement for this queen. Dervin Lispcombe wrote, Edwin Allen is my school. I went there when I was living in Frankfield, Clarendon, but now I'm living in Kingston. I love to see the good work of these young ladies' performance. Steve Patrick wrote, Kevona did not go anywhere. You Jamaicans are spoilt, and when it comes to track and field and love winning too much, she is still going through her development phase and will peter off at times to get better. Let her use her collegiate years to develop physically and mentally, and don't worry. Anthony Elliott wrote, Thank you. We have been waiting. That's true, Anthony. We, I think we have all been waiting. Um, but we just have to be patient, people. Please just exhibit some patience with these remarkable talents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. Remember, the goal now is 20,000 subs. We're going to get there with your assistance, so please hit that subscribe button. Also, um, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, which is about once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your comments. And please, bigger up, people. 10.83, win aided or not. High altitude or not, that's a great, great, great look. Yes, she came second, um, 
but let's look forward to the times when she's gonna run first 10.83 that's a big deal you are kings and queens never forget this bless up